Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today I have a 100% Honest Minty Slimes review. I had this review planned to go up sooner, but I unfortunately lost the footage that I filmed, and I looked through it and finally found it, so I'm so glad that I found it and didn't lose it, but here it is. Again, sorry Minty Slimes for the delay on the upload. I hope you can forgive me, but here it is. I decided to post it because I really wanted to post this review because these slimes are really good so yeah without further ado let's get on to the review first I wanted to start off by showing you guys the packaging it was super cute and definitely matched their logo at the time it was filled with ice creams and it looked really cute but I don't think it was the most secure way to package even though it was very cute um it wasn't like a box but it wasn't a bubble mailer it was like very thin material i don't know what it was but i do suggest maybe getting like a box or a bubble mailer but i really do like how they packaged it because it matches their logo really good now for the stuff that was in the package i actually did a trade with minty slimes i believe we traded two slimes and yeah so here it is each slime was individually bubble wrapped which i thought was very good and inside the package, I got a cute little panda bun squishy. I really like this one. It is super slow rising. And I thought it was a fun extra, so thank you, Minty Slime. And they also added a handwritten note, which I thought was super kind of them. And if you guys would like to read it, feel free to pause the video. But anyways, let's get into the first slime. The first slime is Kermit's Bubble Bath. This is a thick and glossy with frog female slices and some blue big foam beads on top. I definitely love the name of this slime. I think it matches the slime perfectly and it was just overall a cute slime. I do love the texture a lot. It makes great clicks and it makes great bubble pops which is such a great slime and it's super duper glossy. And the container was super sturdy as well. I actually used to use these containers. They're kind of like the squishy type of containers. And the logo was super cute. I definitely recommend getting a thick and glossy slime from them if they have one in stock because it is such a great texture. Mine did come a little bit underactivated, but that's nothing a little activator can't fix. I'll leave their shop, Instagram, and all their information down in the description if you guys can check them out. But there's really not a bad side to this slime, except it was a bit underactivated. But again, that's not Minty Slime's fault. Here are the containers if you would like to see them. The next slime is called Cotton Candy Frappuccino, and this one was overall my favorite slime. The colors mixed a little bit during shipping, but they didn't mix a lot, and they looked really pretty, so I was super excited for this slime, and yeah. I did notice that the slime was a little bit underfilled, not a lot, but I was hoping that the inflation could fix that problem. I would recommend letting the slime sit before you sent it out so that you know if it's underfilled or not. This one was very little, like underfilled, but overall, this slime was definitely my favorite. The texture is so unique. It was a bit underactivated like the other slime, but a little activator fixed that problem. And it's just such a cute slime, and I definitely love the concept. And the end color is such a pretty, nice purple color. So if the seller has this slime in stock, I definitely recommend checking it out. It was overall my favorite one from the package. And the end color is not a bad color. It's actually a really pretty color. So if they have this one in stock, make sure to guys check it out. Link in the description as always. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video as much as I enjoyed filming it and making it for you guys. But yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Anyways, I'll leave Minty Slimes and all their information down in the description as well as my shop and my Instagram and TikTok. Make sure you guys go support me on there. It really means a lot. Thank you guys so, so much for your constant support. And leave a comment on who I should review next. And if you guys would like to send me a review package, make sure to dm me on instagram or leave a comment down below and maybe we could figure something out but anyways guys i hope you guys enjoy it and thank you so so much for your constant support next week's video will probably be a restock video because i am having a restock next saturday so make sure you guys stay tuned for that 
Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. And make sure you guys do all that good stuff. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you next week's video. Bye.